Hey YouTubers, this is about take six on what should have been a very short, very easy video on my Pelican Predator 103. I apologize for the little bit of wind noise you're hearing, or hopefully not a whole lot of wind noise, but the wind noise anyway. I videoed this the other day when it was perfectly calm. I forgot to turn the mic on. First time I videoed it, I forgot to clean the lens, so it was terrible. It had spots and lint all over it. Now you've got some wind. Apologize for that. Anyway, Predi Predi yeah. Pelican Predator 103. It's a 10-foot boat. It replaces the Bass Raiders that I've had. So, taking a look at it here. I like it because it has a lot more room inside. It's more comfortable. Some of the modifications that we've done so far, this is what I'm going to focus on because there's not any or very few, I haven't been able to find them, videos on modifications. Here you have a cell phone holder. It's uh, put in place with double-sided tape. Back here you'll see a rod holder that I've put in place and an enhanced cup holder, I guess. The boat comes with a cup holder, but it's really pretty useless. Anything's just going to easily tip over. But this, uh, this little, I think it's an Atwood, uh, maybe a Marine Raider, came from Academy, cup holder, fits perfectly in that spot. I'll put a little bit of Velcro on the bottom to even secure it better. This is a little crappie rig that I've made. Drops into the rod holder that's molded into the boat. So that should do pretty good for me. Over here is a live well. This is one of the nice things about this boat. As opposed to the Bass Raiders, here you have a live well. It's not an aerated live well, but I'm going to fix that. I'll go ahead and hook a bubble system up to it and actually run it into the 12 volt battery. Moving around to the side, we've got a Minn Kota 55 pound thrust motor. Uh, I'm sure that a 30 would be fine for this boat in most conditions, but I know if you get two people in here with some gear, a little bit of wind. Probably the 55 is going to be a lot better. Really doesn't make it faster, just pushes it along better. Again, rod holder on this side, cup holder on this side, cell phone holder mounted underneath. Put the knife on the side of the seat for easy access and a multi tool on the other side. To save space in the boat, one of the modifications is the uh, mounting of the oar on the outside of the boat. Use some pop toggles. 1 8 inch pop toggles that you get at Home Depot. Lowe's probably has them also. You do have to drill a series of 5 16 inch holes for those, but they fill the gap. Put some marine adhesive on the back of the metal as well, so that should all be nice and sealed up. Another nice feature is it has a battery compartment. You have to have these seats almost perfectly aligned to open it. Here's the battery compartment. It's big enough for my trolling motor battery, a little bit of storage, and the battery for my fish finder, which I'm going to mount here in a little while. Anyway, there you have it. Pelican Predator 103. And this is the first round of modifications. I've got another round I'm going to get started on probably in about an hour. Got a little bit of other work to do first. Thanks for watching and leave your comments.